In the previous video, we wrote an ADBC program in ECC6. We used all the old syntaxes which are available, but we did not use the new syntaxes which are available after 7.4. In this section, we will convert the same program in an ABAP 7.4 system using all the new syntaxes. We will do some inline programming and you would realize that programming in the new 7.4 and above uh, system is much more easier than its previous counterparts. It not only reduces the number of lines of code but also increases the readability of the program. Also, we will connect to the backend ABAP 7.4 system from our HANA studio. So we will be writing our code in the ADT. So let's begin. So let us go to HANA studio and start our programming. So I am in my HANA studio. Now I will create a new program that is ABAP program. I want to give a name like Z ADBC program okay adbc program in ecc 7.4 all right and then i say next and finish so i have already shown you the editor in adt so i'll just create the selection screen parameter i'll say p underscore db type dbcon underscore uh, it was name i think you can try this and yeah it shows the dbcon underscore name so this is the selection screen one last time we declared the data for the uh, for what is the date so this time we will do an inline declaration beta equal to psi datum so this sentence what is doing it is cre creating a field uh, of type side item and putting the value side item so it will have today's date so i'll declare one more i'll say lv c e and d a i will do equal to side item and then i will say lv c e n d d a equal to lv c or i d a t m minus i'll say 180 so i am giving just two dates you might be wondering why did i not put here minus 180 here itself so you while you get a system you can check that if you try to do an inline declaration with side data minus 180 then the system gets confused so it does not create us this variable of date variable but it creates of some string variable therefore i have declared it as a date variable and then i am doing a minus of 180 180 days i have explained this in my earlier in one of my training earlier training which is like introduction to ABAP 7.4 uh, if you have not taken that course you may please enroll in it uh, it is in micromanagement and it might help you let me try to activate this and check if I get an error. So the program got activated. So let me try again. So the activation of program was successful. Now I'll try to build the connection. So what I'll do, I'll do an inline declaration, a large say connection. And then I will say, I'll use the class. I'll use the same class, SQL um, connection. And then I will use get connection, right? And then I will give the value p underscore db. So this is another inline declaration. So you don't need to declare a class and then call it. Okay, so it reduced multiple lines into one line. So other important thing is when you are doing this inline declaration and playing with class, you should always do try and try. All right try so that if there is any error you can capture it so if there is any error we need to catch cx sql you can be control space then it will give you exception 
and then we can say into we can use inline declaration here again i'll say it is lr err like e, or you can give um, exception error okay so this is another inline declaration and then you want to get the text right again i'll do another inline declaration where i will get the error text i'll get error text equal to i have this lr ex e c e r r error and then i'll get what i'll do i'll do get text right i'll do get text so you will get this text here and i'll give a full stop so and then we can throw some message mm, we can give message warning or anything anything you want i don't know if we have anything in this system i'll just try otherwise we can change it with lx e r r t e x t display like you can give error or warning or whatever i'll give it error okay let's check it if we have okay it's not giving warning so it should be fine yeah it's successful i think we have this in our my machine meanwhile let's try to format it that is pretty printer yeah i, I press shift f1 or you can right click source code and then you can say format shift f1 all right it is handy we did the connection the next step we want to do is we want to instantiate the sql so for instance instantiating the sql we need to do another inline declaration and so whatever you were doing we will just do inline so do not worry i'll i'll sh show you the comparison of the final program and the program which we wrote earlier create statement so this way we instantiate it i need a full stop so we do two step two things now we need to build the query so query statement we will store in a string okay we'll say ls statement 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 equals to so here concatenation can be done by pipes right if if you have two pipes and then you need to do another concatenation will do enter and again two pipes okay this is how you do concatenation so i'll do full step so in this pipe i need to give what i want to write so i'll say select so this is case sensitive i'll i'll put the same query which we used earlier okay to care contract start date so this this has to be exact what our db guy gave us to or you can also get it from the uh, sql editor dt and then close the bracket and then i'll check so this is one say and another another uh, syntax which i want to write maybe say contract then contract status say i want only this much and let's see whether this statement is correct or not i'll just try to activate say this is activated successfully that means if you want to concatenate you have to put it in the pipes this is pipes and then you concatenate you don't need the concatenate statement so here what i'll do i'll pause and i'll i'll write the whole uh, sql statement here and then i'll come back so i have written the statement uh, the complete statement if you see here this one this is the name of a variable which holds the name of the table from the database and i have to write it in curly braces because the this table this is not the name of the table if i had to if i could have hard coded the table name here then i did not need the curly braces but i wanted to show how to pass um, variables that's why i showed this this is in curly braces and variable and now i need to define this variable name so this should hold the table name all right let me do that data type it should be say care 50 this should be not more than that value and the name of the table which is which i got from my database team is site underscore okay so this is the table now 
if you go down so that is all the warning is gone let me activate it successful since we are using a date field we will need to get get the date passed to the sql so what i'll do i have this lvc um, c b okay it is l b that's why it's not coming c b begda i'll say i'll just say get reference of this into into i'll i'll say data one l v r e also d r e f all right so it will give me the reference over in this in this field and then i will set the parameters lr i have this sql right sql statement i'll say set parameter so if you give control space okay so control space set parameter in that sql what is the parameter l v d r e f all right so i'll give a full stop similarly i have get i'll do the same exercise for end date c e n d d a into i'll not declare this time i'll reuse that um, variable which you declare but ideally you we should not be reusing it okay the inline declared variable should be used as local variables and it should not be reused but for for now for i should have been declaring it as data and lv day dref2 okay so because scb suggests we should not be reusing the inline declared but for just to reduce the line of code uh, and to reduce repetition i am reusing it but in real projects please do not use i'll just say set i'll just control space param again i'll give the same lv t r e f so what it will do whatever value is here it will set using this i'll give a full stuff here and i'll activate one more time so everything good as of now now the first step is to run this query right so we will execute the query and we again need a result to be kept somewhere so what is the query lr sql statement so i'll just control space enter and then i'll say execute exe i'll just control execute query so there are different query and what is the query name and what do you pass in the query sorry not the query name what do you pass in the query the syntax or the actual select statement so i am passing this guy this guy which we built here i am passing here and then give full step all right you still you shows an error ls statement is it does not identify ls statement s t a t i misspelled is s t a t e m okay we are good now i'll just activate it so we did our first step after we executed our query we need to define the output structure so how would your table how would your output look like so i'll say get i'll say ref reference of uh, i have my table name so i have my table name let me define the table here i'll say say gt i'll say table name or uh, gt i'll say table name type i'll say gst this is g this is a table which i know is there in my system i'll just control it uh oh gst gs i don't remember that underscore letter i think cpm okay that should be there underscore as a b l p r p o d okay why is not type this is all right let me check okay so the table was uh, not active so therefore it was showing the red sign so i come back uh, i i take this table name and i'll put it in a reference okay get reference of this into i'll use the same variable lv d r e f again still showing red or oh, i gave underscore no it's get ref okay r e f e r e n c still showing right okay the error says 
you see if you click here it says the GT name is not compatible with the type of the reference LV okay since we have been using it in uh, in like a variable let me declare another one okay I'll, I'll say it's like underscore table I'll say it is a table okay and then we will set the table parameter so what I'll do LR result set param it should be table there somewhere so param table yes and then I will pass L V D R E F underscore T. Hope oh, it likes it. Full stop. Okay. Good till now. I activated. Activated successfully. Now, like the last time, we got the whole, read the whole package and gave a count. So we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll we'll try to do the same thing, but this time we are again doing with inline L R result and then next package. I hope you remember it if not you can go back to the video again package and then give a full step so we are done with all our six steps now the seventh step is to close the query and then we'll close the connection so to close the connection what we'll do we open it using result so we'll just close it full stop and oh sorry full stop here and then we'll close the connection which we open right in the first sentence we lrc when an ect connection close done so now we activate it and we are good so so if you see what we did this is the number one statement we build the connection then we instantiate it then we build the native sql uh, query then we set the variables for the queries that's the dates then we executed the query this is the fifth step then we I think that's the fourth step then we set the uh, output table variable so this is the table which has the table type and this is of type data so it got set here and then we got the next package that means it will read the whole query so whatever we have in this we will read the whole query and then here we are measuring the count once our query and everything is done we will then close the query and then we'll close the connection so this completes the eight steps uh, after you get the package means after you get the data you will get the data here okay in this table in this table you'll get the data then you can after closing the query you can do anything you want you can manipulate it you can read it you can update it into another table so whatever you can you want you do so this is see the code has become so small so let me show you the original code and this code together all right side by side so these are the two programs which we wrote one in ecc6 and one in 7.4 so you see the difference here so here we declared a bunch of data declaration but here we have only two one is the table name and another is also the table type just two of them rest all is not needed right so you you have this data declaration over here instead we had only this much other than that uh, if you scroll down in both the sides so see lr connection here where is our lr connection here are lr connection so we had to first type ref to sql connection and then we have to do the lr connection but in this case directly same way with the statements statement also we have to do type ref and then you have to use it but here you do not need to in this case the lx statement we had to define on the top a string lx statement but here we did not need to do any ls statement so similarly you can go through it uh, you will find that as and when you keep on working on adt and in 7.4 you will love your programming it will be much easier and much much readable so line number of lines codes become small and you will start loving the new syntaxes so we end this uh, part here in the next part we'll write it in s4 hana and you'll see that there is no difference between s4 hana and 7.4